All right, good morning, P4. Um, I am here just to give you some ideas of how you can plan your historical fiction story. So we are going to be writing a historical fiction story based around or based on facts about the coronavirus, which we know can also be known as the um, COVID or the COVID-19, which also is known as the coronavirus. So I've done a little story mountain map and I want you to try and plan yours out similarly. So I'm going to show you my finished one and then we're going to go through one together. So I want you to remember the five stages to a story. The introduction, so down here, the problem, the climax, the resolution, and then the conclusion. Now, we know that when we create a, an introduction, we have to include a setting and characters. So my setting is in Bermuda, in my house, at school, Prospect Primary, I go to the grocery store, and the grocery store is a proper noun marketplace. So I remember to include um, capital letters. Now the characters of my story are some teachers at Prosper Primary School. Ms. Newsom, so it's gonna be myself, Mr. Thomas, and Mr. Peets. Now, then I have to think about, well, what is the big problem in my story? Well, the problem is that there is a virus that is quickly spreading and is making people sick. If you get it and you are an elderly person, you can die, especially if you have already existing um, medical difficulties. So that's the introduction of the problem. I needed to add in here, my problem also is that it's difficult for me to work because everyone has to stay at home. So that's where my climax comes in. My The biggest or most exciting part or dangerous part or scary part about my story is for me, it's gonna be the most difficult thing is trying to teach my students from home. So that's my climax. Um, I put in here that, that the difficulty will be learning how to create a YouTube channel, making videos and not being able to see my students. So getting photos of my students or photos of my students' work, those are all things that I wanna talk about as the biggest, most exciting part of my story. Um, so when my students' parents, when your, your parents send me photos of you, it's quite exciting. I'm excited to see it. And when I get to create a video, I'm excited to see it. So that's why I included that as the climax. Um, somewhere on my story mountain, I might have in here that I watch the news or that I, of course, went to the grocery store. I had to buy things. So maybe another problem was when I went to the grocery store, I couldn't find hand sanitizer, and that's including the real facts that I heard on the news. Um, they might, I might have gone to the grocery store and saw that there was less toilet paper, and that's using real facts that I heard in the news. Now, as I go over the climax, the top of the mountain, and I come down, I have to think of what my resolution is to solve my problems. So, of course, with the virus, I'm staying at home, I'm exercising social distancing, which means I stay three to six feet away from people. If I have to be around someone else, I wash my hands, cover my cough. Maybe some people are wearing gloves or masks. And to solve my problem, trying to be a teacher from home, I've made a YouTube channel, I'm emailing my students and parents, and I am using WhatsApp videos and calls to communicate. So now, students, we come to the conclusion. So how are you going to end your story? Well, I know that a historical fiction story is something that is made up, and it's, it's so I want to include something imaginary at the end, and it might not really happen, which is okay, but my conclusion, I would like for the whole of my class to do a great big video call Everybody's gonna be at home waving at the camera and that's how my story ends. So I want to show you that this is how you can come up with your story mountain. I'm gonna do another one and then you can come up with, you can see how easy it is to plan it. So today is Tuesday, it is March 24th. And so I want you to think of what your story mountain is gonna look like. So. 
Imagine you are writing this story in the year 2060. So that's going to be 40 years from now because today is 2020. You might start your story like this. 40 years ago, there was a dangerous pandemic. And we know a pandemic is something that affects the whole world. So there's this global virus that is spreading. So let's think of our introduction setting. Now, I think some of you might want to make it fun and exciting. So your setting could be maybe you're someone on an airplane and they are trying to get home to Bermuda. Maybe they went on vacation somewhere and now they've heard that all the airports are closing so they quickly have to return home. Most of my story will be on the airplane, but let's say some of the story, they fly to their home country. Now your home country could be somewhere else. Let's pick any country in the world. Maybe they are going to, I don't know, maybe they're going to, not Bermuda. Let's say maybe they're going to London. They're going to England and they have to get on a plane. So maybe they came to Bermuda, someone came to Bermuda, and then they needed to fly home to London. Okay, now who are my characters? Well, you can use yourselves. So let's put some of my students on here. Versai, let's get Ryan on there. Maybe we can add in Zoe. All right. And of course, some of the characters included, if it's an airplane, we're going to have a pilot on the airplane. Maybe there's a doctor on the airplane. Uh, maybe there is maybe a taxi driver. When I get to England, I need to get a taxi home. Okay. So my problem, what's my problem? Well, while I'm on the, while I am on the airplane, someone begins to cough and then we hear over the radio or maybe on the news on the plane about the virus so now everyone is worried characters begin to get worried and so the pilot talks to everyone the pilot tells the passengers about the virus and the pirate uh, the pilot asks us to wear masks so i did i know some of you have been on a plane before and you see that the masks sometimes drop down from the ceiling you can breathe nice fresh air so climax now i have landed into i've landed in London. Okay, so maybe the plane, this is an idea, the plane was flying to Bermuda, but the pilot had to turn around and go back. So Bermuda closed the airport so the plane could not land. That's my exciting part of the story. So the plane could not land and so we had to turn around and go back to England. So the resolution is once I got to England, I called a taxi to take me home and then I could talk about all the fun, exciting things I did at home, fun activities. Activ oh, activities. And then maybe I call my doctor to ask about what the virus is. And this is where you can use real facts that you've learned about. Now the conclusion, I want to make sure that my story ends somehow. 
So maybe my conclusion is two weeks later, the virus, the virus dies out. So the virus is ended, the spread is ended. And then I go on my computer and I book another holiday vacation to Ber Bermuda. All right, so let's double check back that my plan makes sense. So I start with the introduction here. Um, the setting is I'm on an airplane, I'm traveling to Bermuda, but somehow I have to go back to London. The characters I'm going to be traveling with Rasai, Ryan, and Zoe. So I might talk about them and our conversations during my story. Maybe I'll use, um, because we've been learning how to use quotation marks. <clears throat> so I'm going to have in here, I wonder what COVID-19 is asked Zoe and then I know that every time someone new speaks I have to start a new paragraph and I have to indent so then Ryan is going to speak next and Ryan says I heard that it is a virus similar to the flu it spreads very easily and you can get sick and because Ryan says this I'm going to say replied Ryan now I'm traveling with a few other people so maybe maybe this is where Rasai comes in and he says do you hear that that's the pilot is talking about the virus now. Let's listen. And then I'm going to put an exclamation point because he's talking a little loud on the plane. Let's listen. Sometimes you can't hear it, the noisy engines. Um, and then I might say, shouted Rasai. So these are some things, some ideas that you can think of when you're planning your story. What kind of conversations are your characters going to have? and make sure it all makes sense. We know that when we start our stories, we wanna start with a very powerful starter. So something that's gonna draw your characters in. You could start with action. You could start with a conversation. You could start with a setting, just talking about where the characters are. You could start off with it being calm and fun and everybody's excited and then you introduce the problem. So these are just some ideas for you to see how quick and easy it is to plan your story. Think of a title. So Ms. Newsom does not have a title yet. What could my title be? It could be, um, I'm on a plane, so the plane that couldn't land and because it is a title i need to make sure that i am using capital letters the plane that couldn't land and so i'm going to talk about the problem the plane can't land because every country it went to the borders were closed and the government official said sorry you can't land because we are worried that some passengers on board might already have the virus we don't want it to spread just we're just trying to be safe and that's a reminder how we talk about our four core expectations at school to be safe to be responsible respectful and ready to learn so on on my story one of the themes the mood of my story is about safety and the mood about your story will have to do with safety a little bit too but you're going to be a bit creative and come up with your story mountain today can't wait to see what you come up with